So how was the first night of practice? It was a good night. Uh, I think the positive was a lot of guys did a lot of things well. Um, and I, hopefully the strength in our team is in numbers and depth. And I think today was a good indication of that. There's certainly uh, plenty to work on. I'm really glad that we have uh, three weeks to prepare. And now we're in that area where the NCAA restrictions are a lot less. And we can really get to work on some things. How does day one this year compare to day one last year? It's a good question. I feel like uh, that was a very good day, and I felt like today was a really good day. And, uh, you know, we're kind of trying to set our course for this year and, and this particular team. And uh, the play was good today from the mound, defensively, for the most part, was positive and a lot of good at bats from a lot of different guys. What do you like about the potential of the pitching staff? I like that they throw strikes. I like that they have uh, multiple pitches. And, and this is a very pitcher friendly park. Um, and if you can execute to both sides of the plate and keep hitters off balance, which I think several of them can, uh, Coach Lawn does a really good job at helping guys develop change-ups, and we saw a lot of that today, which was great. How the freshman looked? I thought it was outstanding today. I think, um, you know, it's a tough learning curve. I mean, this will be the biggest jump that they make in their baseball career from high school to Division One or Pac-12 baseball and the schedule that we play. And... Uh, Today was a good start in terms of uh, the way they looked and how they competed. There's, certain, there's a lot of learning taking place, and if a lot of you were standing out here in the cold, it's because we're trying to teach as we go and slow the game down, but that was really encouraging today. Chemistry was a really big part of your squad last year. How do you see that developing this year? It's good. Um, it is uh, not where that finished, but we've been very careful uh, to compare, and any time that you're building that, you have to go through things together, both uh, good and bad, for that to develop. And we're still in some uh, initial phases of that, but we're off to a really good start. How's the depth of this team compared to the last year's team? Uh, I think it's. I think we're a little farther along in terms of the number of good players, and uh, you know we're replacing a lot of really talented dudes that had uh, special years, and. Um, you don't look to one guy to replace one guy. It's kind of the whole village, you know, and, and their improvement and their development. But I think if there's one thing I'm excited about, and I think today showed that, is the number of guys that can make a positive contribution. So now we got to go work on uh, figuring out what the right combination looks like. Revis and LeBeau at first base, how do they look? Yeah, uh, Alfonso um, looks great. I think that's his natural position. I think with the athleticism that we have with the other potential outfielders, that's going to be a natural fit for him. Randy, we're kind of shrinking his role a little bit. Uh, he's going to be a huge part of the pitching staff, so we're going to put more focus there and be more of like a left-handed DH pinch hitter. So between Alfonso, JJ, Corey Voss can play over there, and, and Sawyer uh, can really play anywhere. I think those guys will get the majority of the time at first. Tony and Ming were the starters for the uh, for the scrimmage game. Tonight you brought them along slowly in the fall because of their workload. How have those guys kind of come around? That was great. Um, I think they really set a good tone uh, in terms of strikes, low strikes, in and out, and change in speeds at a, a really good level. Uh, we put some base runners on to start innings so our pitchers got comfortable pitching in the stretch and pitching out of tough spots and our hitters could kind of work our red zone offense, if you will, runners in scoring position, and, and those guys were, were seamless, and that was uh, great to see.